Let's begin with chapter number 11 from your history book of grade 7 and the name of the chapter is Bhakti and Sufi movements. So let's start. Religious reform movements. The political equation between the Delhi sultans and the Indians were initially often bitter and hostile. Hostile means very violent. Gradually, the sultans realized that they were a very small minority in a vast country with a rich Hindu cultural heritage. Hence, they thought it prudent not to disturb, means they found it good not to disturb the predominantly Hindu culture, Hindu cultural fabric of the country. Like parallel streams, the Hindu and the Muslim cultures flowed peacefully alongside each other, influencing and enriching one another. New cultural forces as and patterns emerged, means developed. The advent of Islam in India preceded the establishment of the Delhi Sultanate. As the spirit of tolerance and understanding between we can say developed between Hindus and the Muslims, two liberal religious reform movements took place in the medieval period, the Sufi and the Bhakti movements. Causes for the rise of Sufi movement. After the death of Prophet Muhammad, religious differences arose between the two sections of the Muslim community, the Siyas and the Sunnis. This led to prolonged mutual hostility and bitter quarrels between these two sections. This religious conflict marked an extreme intolerance posed a serious threat to the Islamic, Islamic principles of brotherhood and you can say monotheism that is one God. There was an increasing tendency among the Muslim rulers and the nobles to lead lives of luxury, opulence and indulgence and so thus was opposed by the Islamic principles also of simple living and pity. Sufis arose as the reaction and, and reposed and and response also to these threats of muslim society the liberal reform movement was started to restore unity and harmony among the muslims what was the cause uh, causes of the rise of the bhakti movement with the passage of time the hindu religion had become rigid and complex and many evil practices and benefits had crept into the hindu society the rigid caste system um, led the society in equality and injustice and the exploitation and oppression of the lower caste by the tyrannical higher castes. So elaborate, expensive and meaningless rituals pres uh, prescribed by the Brahmanas imposed a crushing financial burden on the poor people. So people belonging to the lower caste, especially the Sudras, could not even understand the hymns and the mantras because they were not, not uh, permitted to study the Sanskrit religious texts. The Islamic principle of equality, brotherhood and one God also appealed the liberal-minded Hindus and fostered the growth of a religious reform movement into Hinduism within Hinduism. The urgent need of liberal or liberate the masses as from the uh, you can say strange hold of the priestly class and read Hindus uh, to you can say to relieve the Hindus from meaningless rituals and rites as it led to the birth of this bhakti movement. The it would revive the principles of monotheism um, equality and ritually you can say ritual free worship and restore hinduism to its original uh, simplicity and purity based on the upanishads the sufi movement the sufis were a group of muslims mystic who under who started a religious reform movement in west asia mystics are 
people who try to attain knowledge and become united and with god through prayer and meditation the sufi movement was originally a reform movement within islam the sufis were inspired by the teaching of the quran the sufis came to india with the turks or the turks from the turkey they are coming turks in the uh, 12th century ce over the years they absorbed buddhism and hindu influences as and were greatly res- uh, respected by the muslims as well as the hindus like the buddhist is uh, sangha the sufis established several monastic ek uh, organizations called silsilas two of these organizations the chistis and the sudravardi sorry Sur- suravardi a orders has uh, become popular in india the founder of sufi movement in india was moinuddin chisti he is dargah in ajmer is an important pilgrimage center for both muslims and hindus what were the teachings of sufism there is only one god and all people are his children all human beings are equal different religions ha- are different paths as leading to one god therefore all religions must be respected fasts and other rituals are not necessary to reach god god can be reached through love and devotion there is no need to convert to another religion one should strive to be good hindu or a good muslim to lead a pure and disciplined life it is necessary to follow a peer that is guru who will guide a guide a person along the right spiritual path one could come closer to god through devotion of music known as qawali the liberal ideas and rational practices of sufism had a profound impact on the people well, and their rulers it encouraged religious tolerance prominent the uh, prominent or you can say promoted the idea of universal al uh, brotherhood and brought hindus and muslims closer to one another the bhakti movement the word bhakti means devotion to god the bhakti movement was a reform movement within hinduism it began in south india in the 7th century ce and became a popular movement before the arrival of the turks the bhakti saints and said drew their inspiration from the upanishads and the bhagavad gita people were attracted to the principles of monotheism equality and ritually free worship by propagation by propagation this principles of one god universal brotherhood and respect for all religions and so the bhakti movement and created conditions conductive if in the harmonious and peaceful coexistence of hindus and the muslims teachings of bhakti saints there is only one god everyone is equal in the eyes of god god can be reached through love devotion and total surrender to his will and not through rituals rites and idol worship everyone should lead a pure life like we are having few patrons like ramanada kabir guru nanak chaitanya uh, maha maha pra, maha prabhu uh, then we are having uh, mirabai alwars ars and narayans and sankara uh, janaswara uh, were also are some of the great reformers of the bhakti movement thank you